Hey everybody, it's your girl Inchworm with another episode of Wiggling on the Street. And today, my very special episode, I'm here at the North Chicago Beach. I'm here interviewing Mr. Vance Wyatt. He is the North Chicago Commissioner, and we're gonna talk about what is happening here at this beach. Um, so make sure all of you tune in. Hey everybody, it's your girl Inchworm with Wiggling on the Street and I'm back with another fun episode right here at the North Chicago Beach. Yes, I said it. North Chicago has a beach. <laughs> and we're gonna get into it. I want to introduce my very special guest, Mr. Vance B. Wyatt. <laughs> How are you, Vance? Doing well. How about yourself? Good, good, good. Vance, tell everybody. Look, first of all, this interview is long overdue. Yep. Okay. I know you've been trying to, you were going to kill me because it's been like a long time. Yeah. So tell me about, tell everybody what your position is and we'll get into like the city of North Chicago and all that. Sure. So my name is, uh, again, Vance Wyatt. I serve as the commissioner for Foss Park District. I also serve as treasurer for the city of North Chicago as well. Yes. And tell everybody why the city of North Chicago is is great. Y'all coming up. Y'all getting roundabout. Hey, we, we've been great for many, many years. You know, I gotta say, I know, I know you're a ZB and all. But Definitely a ZB. It's about the Warhawks over here. So, you know, we're, we're, we're doing our beach uh, here in North Chicago. First time in over 60 plus years um, where you've been able to actually swim on our beach safely. Okay. Um, so some of the issues that we've had here is a lot of issues where uh, people have drowned over here in the beach because of, we haven't had the infrastructure needed. Um, and that's due to, you know, mismanagement over a few years, but we're trying to re remedy that and actually get our beach open so everyone in the community can uh, to, to take part in it. What is your position exactly? Like, what do you do? So I'm a commissioner. Uh, so there's five of us that sit on the board. Um, so all of us were like city council, but for your park district. Okay. Um, essentially where each of us have a specific uh, department that we have oversight. So I happen to chair the parks committee, uh, which has oversight over all of our parks, including our beach as well. Um, so I worked with uh, Commissioner King, who was actually the original uh, commissioner, was working on this beach project over 20 years ago. Uh, when she left the board, I kind of took it over, and then now we're both back on the board, and we're trying to get this project completed, and we're almost done. I'm excited. You know, North Chicago is, like I said, it's really coming around <laughs> outside of the, the naval base, right? And Jelly Belly. Jelly Belly. I'm trying to think of the, uh, a, a, Abbott. Abbott and Abbey. Abbott and Abbey. What else do we got yeah, out here? Uh, Roslyn Franklin. Roslyn Franklin University. North Chicago Community High School. North Chicago oh, Community yeah. High School. And y'all got a roundabout. Yeah. I keep, I can only keep throwing that roundabout. <laughs> So it's funny because actually I was on the county board when it was put into place or when, we, when it was built. Um, and my predecessor, Audrey Nixon, uh, the late Audrey Nixon, who was on the county board for yes. 35 or 36 years on the county board, longest serving county board member in history. She hated roundabouts. So she was adamantly opposed to it. She was on to some. And, you know, I know some people, they, they suffer. They can't really get into it. But we were able to uh, reduce a lot of uh, accidents over there in that little neighborhood mm -hmm. uh, by having this roundabout now. Why was it important for this beach to open back up? So right now in North Chicago, we don't have anywhere you can swim. So we have no actual be uh, open pool. Uh, the high school doesn't have a pool. The middle school doesn't have a pool, and including the park district. So we have a pool that was in the ground. Um, essentially, back in the 90s, we didn't have enough money coming in to actually support it. So the par park district at the board at the time decided to close uh, the pool. Um, I would happen to be one of those kids that swam in the pool at six years old. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's really important. I had the opportunity to go outside of the community and learn how to swim, but most of the kids here in North Chicago don't have that opportunity. Yeah. So we're building this uh, beach that's going to actually have an option for them to swim. Um, it's slightly cheaper than having an indoor pool. Um, so if we were to redo our pool and make it indoors, it's about five to six million dollars. With construction costs, it could be up to seven million dollars now. So this was only $2 million just to do this portion of the project. And there's another $2 million worth of uh, enhancements that we're going to put in this park as well. I do think um, the city of North Chicago is bogus for not having a pool. I'm well, not, not so It has lie. nothing to do with the city. It's all under the Falls Park District. Well, what are y'all doing over there? So, again, like I said, we're, we're establishing this uh, beach first. Yeah. So if you want to raise taxes um, and you want to supply it from Waukegan or Zion, 
feel free to send us your money. Don't, will, don't, don't go there with me, Vance. Money. You know, I got to uh, pick on you. Hey, I, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> I get the arrows all the time. You know, one thing that, you know, I'm opposed to us submitting over the beat or the uh, pool that we currently have, um, that was a uh, suggestion made by some of the com uh, commissioners on the board was just submitting over and forgetting about it. I'm not in favor of that. I think one day we can actually get an actual uh, pool back open in our community, have it indoors. Um, and You know, something that you can see in, in Libertyville or Lake Forest, our kids have deserve and have a right to have um, the same amenities that they have in those communities. Absolutely. I agree with that. So hopefully we can get some swimming lessons okay. going here too yeah. once we get the beach open. Absolutely. And so real quick, let's talk about what type of events are going to be here. Because I know with this opening up, yep. it's going to be popping. Everybody's going to be at the beach. So this year we're actually bringing our Jamaican Fest back. What? The Jamaica, or Crib, Sounds of the Caribbean is, is the technical name for it. Um, but originally was uh, Jamaican Fest. It will be held right here in Foss Park be, uh, District as well, or the peak park itself. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're looking either day be, uh, the, week, the day before or the week after, uh, or two weeks after, I should say, we're looking at doing an old school R&B concert as well. Dope. Um, Big Drew, who we work with, uh, is Shout out to Big bringing Drew. that here to Foss Park District. Uh, can't really give any details on it beyond that right now, but we're all of that's in the work right now. We're hoping to get that going really soon. If so. anybody wants to um, have an event or something here at the beach, what do they need to do? They can reach out to me directly, uh, or you can reach out to Carrie, who's our executive, executive director. Um, we can actually figure out what, what's needed for it, um, and we can make sure the insurance is all taken care of. Everything that you need is here. And we can have to make it happen. That's dope. Yeah. One of the things I, I love most about you, Vance, is how passionate about how passionate you are about the city of North Chicago. Just tell me, tell all of us out there, like where do you see it about five, ten years from now? Sure. So that passion comes from me being a kid. Uh, my father actually used to work here at Falls Park. Um, he used to be a maintenance worker. I used to walk through this park uh, with him every uh, Friday night and Saturday night to help clean up mm -hmm. as a kid. Um, so right now we'll. What we're looking at doing in the next, you know, 10 to 20 years, we're getting a new uh, Neil Math and Science Academy, um, hopefully getting a new high school as well. Um, we're hopefully getting a new city hall. I know that's one of the mayor's big initiatives as well. Um, but me personally, I want to see us have an, a park in every neighborhood, at least from the park district perspective. Yes. Um, and actually be able to take people from cradle to grade. So uh, we were looking at I'm buying a um, daycare facility so we can get those kids that are three, four, they're five years old and take them all the way up to being a senior. So we have a really good senior program, but we want to take it up to the next level. Um, I do believe we can actually get a senior center and actually have that available to our seniors and potentially even, you know, have something even for adults. You know, I, I play tennis in a tennis league. You know, I would love to see us have our own tennis league or uh, baseball league. That's one thing we're looking at right now. I'm proud of you, Van. Thank you. Keep, keep going. I love it. Vance, thank you so much for all of the work that you do, the way that you are so passionate about the city of North Chicago, just all of the Fox Park District, all of it. You are doing amazing things out thank there. You. Definitely keep going and tell everybody where they can follow you and all that good stuff. Sure. So Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, it's at Vance D. Wyatt. Uh, I have uh, my website, VanceWyatt.com. Reach out. My phone number is on there. Feel free to reach out. My email is on there as well. Walk me through what this is going to look like so like. currently right now we're on the beach so there'll be a trail going down down here okay eventually we're going to have a staircase and you'll be able to go up to the park itself okay um part of the plans or the master plan we have for this entire park is to have an ada ramp to go up to the park this way so say if you're in a wheelchair or whatnot you'll be able to still get down to the beach mm -hmm. um, we're looking to eventually get some uh, ada water wheelchairs as well so you better get in the water even if you're in a wheelchair you just get transferred wow. over to the wheelchair uh water wheelchair and be able to get into the beach itself here we're going to have beach volleyball and then we're going to have a concession stand along with a playground here. So you'll be able to get your food, your drinks and everything, uh, be able to play volleyball, but then also be able to have your kids play on the beach as well. That's dope. And this is just going to go along the whole... All the way down. That's the, the plan. Down. That's the plan right now. Um, right now, because of the cost of everything going up, we're going to, we, we're not guaranteed what we're going to be able to put in right now. We got to wait and see how much that cost is. You know, for example, wood, I think just for up here, we pay five times what we normally do. Mm -hmm. This whole project right here is double what we picked, we originally planned for. Don't. So, you know, we're working. That's awesome. Okay. I, I love it. I cannot wait to see. How long is it going to take? So we're planning uh, the last week of July. So there was a labor dispute with uh, the company that we hired. So we have the number one company uh, in the Great Lakes that's actually doing beaches. Mm -hmm. um, they had a labor dispute with their union, so it pushed it back two weeks, two to three weeks. Um, so right now we're looking at the end of July. Dope. Dope. Okay.
see you, Jack. Yeah, Thank I'm looking you. forward to it. I can't wait to see.